I totally agree. Now, let's get to the record prediction for the Browns for next season. Best case scenario, I think about 11-5. and five. I don't think Cleveland is quite on the level of a 12-win or a 13-win team, but if Baker has a breakout season. I do think that Baker can have a breakout season. My three quarterbacks, I think, are going to break out this year. I actually dropped this episode recently. I said it was Drew Locke. I said that it was Kyler Murray and Baker Mayfield. Those are three quarterbacks that I look to have, you know, really good seasons as far as young quarterbacks go. I think Baker is going to play really well this year. So if he hits, if the if the defense plays fairly well, you know, if Odell Beckham Jr. gets his act together and is more consistent, if Chubb has a good year. If Stefanski's not a bum, then yeah, this team can win 11 games, in my opinion. This is one of the most talented teams in all of football, as far as just their roster. I think that worst case scenario, probably around 7 and 9, 8 and 8. You know, I don't think you guys can be as bad as last year because you're a better team than last year. But yeah, I, I say that 11 wins is the max. Now, I think the Browns are a 9 and 17. And I honestly hate going over game-by-game game predictions. I'm not going to do that for my July 1st preview for the Arizona Cardinals. That is when I'm going to officially predict everyone's record, you know, and things of that nature. But for now, we'll give you a little bit of a sneak peek for how I'm thinking about the Browns next season. I think that at Baltimore is a loss. Cleveland's a win. Washington is a sneaky team. I would not be shocked if they win that game. I think they're underrated, but I think that you're going to win that game because you're at home. At Dallas is a loss, I think. So two and two to start. Indianapolis at home, I think that you're a better team. I don't trust Indianapolis as far as their weapons. On offense, Phillip Rivers is washed. You'll win that game. At Pittsburgh, I think that's a loss. Pittsburgh was a solid team last year despite having a having not great quarterback play. Then at Cincy and Vegas, I think that those are two wins. By week, I actually have you guys losing two straight games to Houston and Philadelphia. I just think that Deshaun Watson and Carson Wentz are going to make a couple more plays that Baker Mayfield just flat out doesn't make. So I think you'll get out quarterback coming off your bye week, which is crazy. You easily could prove me wrong and win one of those games. But yeah, I think you'll at least split with those teams. At Jacksonville's a win. Tennessee's an interesting team, but I think that you guys will get revenge on them this year. But then I think you'll actually lose to Baltimore at home. It's coming off a two-game road trip. You know, it's, it's tough to beat Baltimore in the first place. I know you guys beat them last year, but I just I like Baltimore a lot this year. I think you'll you'll get swept by them. Giants is a win, and then at the Jets, I debate this a lot, but I have it as a loss. It's it's hard to win on the road. You know, I think that the Jets will struggle a lot early, but late in the season, their younger players will start to come around. And Sam Darnold, I'm not sold on him, but he's not terrible. And then Pittsburgh at home to finish the season is a win. So I have you at nine and seven. You can pull up the schedule if you want. You can go game by game if you want. You know, how many games do you think the Browns are going to win, and what's your expectations for their record? Well, for me, I have the Browns going ten and six, and I think they're they're going to lose in the second round of the playoffs. Whoever they may play, but I do like I said the seven team playoff format. They should make the playoffs, but the lowest I see them going is and really, hey, hey, really quick, not to cut you off, but I have the Browns actually in the playoffs as as an early playoff team. I think the nine seven can get, can get you in, but go ahead. All right, I have them going at least eight and eight, just because like with this team and. Like I said, with this motivation Baker Mayfield has as his make-or-break year, they have to at least go 8-8. Eight and eight. And I actually had the schedule with the week-by-week breakdown. I think, surprisingly, I have Week 1 Browns at Ravens. I have us winning that game just because we always play the Ravens well in Baltimore. It doesn't matter what year, when it was, we just always play them well. Now, the Browns at the Bengals, that's a dub. That's prime time. Um, Browns at Redskins, I did have them losing to them, actually, because I think the Browns are going to take them lightly coming off that 2-0 and start. And then the Browns at the Dallas Cowgirls, I think that's a dub because Dak Bortles is washed, and this is the year they're going to fall apart. Uh, Browns versus Colts, I think that's a that's an L. I think the Colts are a well-rounded team, might not be flashy, might not be great, but they're, they're going to be a struggle team to put. Uh, face up against Browns at Pittsburgh. I think that's a dub. Miles Garrett's first game back. And yeah, just he will let his presence be known. Browns at Bengals. I think that's a no week seven because Joe Burrow, I think he's going to develop. And even though Bengals don't have the best team, they have their quarterback, in my opinion. And sometimes that's all you need. Browns versus Raiders. They're going to win that because the Raiders are just garbage. 
Browns versus Texans, that's an L. Deshaun Watson is just – he'll, he'll out-quarterback our team regardless. He's a playmaker. Browns versus Eagles, I think that's a win just because I think Jalen Hurts will be playing this by this time next, <laughs> during week 11 because, you know, Carson Wentz is just injury prone, glass house. Browns at Jacksonville, that's a W. Gardner Minshew is going to have a terrible year. I don't, I don't know who else is going to go against that. But Browns at Titans, I think that's an L. I think the Titans are a legit team, even though they lost Cockman and some other players. I still think they they're going to have that underrated vibe, but they're going to they're going to get their games done and get some wins this season. I think the Browns at, versus the Ravens. It's another prime time game in the late season. Ravens, man. They're always good. We're going to lose that game. That might be a, just a murder. Browns at the Giants, we're going to win that. Browns at the Jets, I have us winning that because the Jets always, they never play us well. And then the Browns versus the Steelers, I think we're going to get that win and sweep the Steelers this season for the first time in forever. So, yeah, like I said, 10-6 and six and a playoff loss in the second round, in my opinion. You think you guys are going to win the division? Because I think Baltimore is going to go about – 12 wins, 13 wins, you know, so you're saying you, you guys are going to be a wild card team that upsets someone or what? I don't think we're going to win the division at 10-6. and six. Like you said, Baltimore is going to at least win maybe 12 games, maybe 13. But I don't see us losing in the first round. I think we're going to come off with the momentum of just making the playoffs for like the first time since 2002. And the last time we had a winning record was 2007. When we went ten and six, and we still didn't make the playoffs, so I think with like I said with the seventeen format, we're good. I see us making maybe the seven or the sixteen, and I see us winning at least one game. Okay, we're gonna pull off an upset somehow. All right, all right. I don't know if that'll happen, but I have the Browns in the playoffs this year. As of right now, I could change my mind, but hey, you know, you never know. So, I mean, that's about all I got, man. Anything else you want to say as far as a Browns fan? Um, I don't know. I just have a feeling this actually might be the year. I had it last year. I had it the year before that. But this year, something different. Yeah, and one of the reasons why I think the Browns are going to be a little bit better this year is because, for one, they improved their team. I don't think they'll be worse. And, I mean, it's not hard to upgrade from Freddie Kitchens. It's really not. So the coaching will be better. The offensive line will be better. I think Baker will be better. The turnovers were just bad last year. So, yeah, Baker will be better. And all of that. And I think that a lot of people are actually sleeping on the Browns a little bit this year. You know, the the media went crazy about the Browns after those trades and after free agency last year saying they were going to, you know, be a Super Bowl contender. I didn't have them a Super Bowl contender, but I had them in the playoffs last year. But no one's really talking about the Browns. Everyone, everyone is saying that, hey, this Browns team is not that good. You know, I can't trust them. And I think they're going to fly under the radar. So I think that Cleveland is about a 9 or 10 win team. I'm going with 9 wins. And I think they'll probably sneak in a little bit. That seventh, that seventh final playoff spot is definitely key. I think that I think they can get that. So yeah, I agree. Appreciate you for coming on, man. It was fun. Yeah, thanks for having me. Yeah, no doubt. Thank you so much for watching this video today. Please also note that the Juice Alert Sports Podcast is not just a YouTube channel. It is available on all podcasting platforms, including Spotify, Google Podcasts, iTunes, and Apple Podcasts. Also, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share this content with all your friends. This podcast is is my favorite thing in the entire world right now. It is my passion. I want more people to listen to this podcast. I really want this podcast to grow. Also, a fun fact about me is that I want to go into the sports broadcasting and media world once I graduate from the University of Toledo, a college in Northern Ohio. I currently am a freshman there right now. I am looking to become one of the next great sports broadcasters and analysts out in the world. And I potentially would like to start my own network if this podcast really truly grows, or if I fall short of that goal, I would love to work for a big time network like ESPN or Fox Sports 1. I am open to all networks. So if you believe in my dreams and you see or hear my passion through the screen, be sure to tell all your friends about the Juice Alert Sports Podcast. Stay motivated, you guys. Have a God-blessed day, and I'm out.